Kopinski wins the tip, and there is Wayne Turner. Capacity crowd on hand. Oaks in Nashville. Love when the Wildcats come here, simply because there is a long story tradition of close basketball games with these two teams, specifically in this building. Last year was a two-point buzzer beater by the Wildcats. McGlure loses it inside, taken away by Frater. And a push from behind on Scott Padgett right out of the gates. Atiba Frater picks up the steal. Vanderbilt very aggressive, very into this game right from the start. I, they seem like they were five steps ahead of the beat. Very good sign if you're a Commodore fan. Lange. We said he had to get off to a good start. And Mike, they opened up off the inbounds pass and he knocked down the three. He's the guy you want to try to set up a shot coming off of an inbounds play. He leads you in scoring. One of your better shooters, if not your best. Get him off the mark early, as you said. Bradley stops from 17 off the back of the iron. Roll doesn't go down. Lange with a rebound. Atiba Prater playing with a banged up shoulder, wearing a brace, dislocated it back in mid-November and missed five games. Vanderbilt, excuse me, Dave, Vanderbilt showing some patience. They don't want to get into a helter-skelter game with Kentucky. They want to take their time and position themselves to use all of the clock. We'd like to welcome Sunshine Network to our coverage of our SEC Game of the Week, Kentucky and Vanderbilt from Nashville. Memorial Gymnasium. Commodores lead early, 2 to nothing, 18-30 to play in the opening half. Reset the shot clock off the kick basketball by James Strong, who's second on this, or second in the NCAA in steals. The man is a defensive machine. Excellent reputation on ball defender. Looks like the Commodores of Jan Bednikov into this game every inch of the way. He preached, he taught, forget about that Florida ball game. Be prepared for Kentucky. You're at home. They've got a 13-game winning streak in these friendly confines. McGlure from 16. Greg LaPointe gets the rare start tonight with the rebound. LaPointe certainly with numbers that would indicate a starter's role plays quite a few minutes, but has been coming off the bench for the most part this season. Gets the start tonight to match up with the Kentucky size. No question about that call. Big on big. And a traveling violation against Vanderbilt. Gives the ball back to Kentucky. A situation where those big bodies come in handy. Bradley and McGlore pitched in defensively. Langley couldn't see it off the dribble. Was out of control. Wayne Turner averaging 10.5 points. 3.5 assists. Runs the show the majority of the time for Kentucky. He's done a nice job of it. Not just this year, but last year as well. And some big games in the postseason. Evans spots up from behind the arc. That's off the mark. The rebound to Vandy, and here come the Commodores. Vandy in a combination zone. Sometimes the match looks a little bit like a diamond and two. Strong. Too strong. Turner with it. Vanderbilt back very quickly, David. Kentucky known for their quick transition game. Commodore's back shutting that off. Lange comes up with the steal. Kentucky still scoreless. Three minutes have ticked off the clock. Kentucky doesn't seem to be on the same page as the Commodores. The Commodores out quickly, out early, very much into this game. on the shot clock. Lange spots up over McGlure. That's off the back of the iron. Loose basketball. Foul will be called against Vanderbilt. And that'll go against Michael LeBlanc more than likely. And it does. Against Kentucky's big front line, you have to get position. You cannot play behind. That time LaPointe got caught behind and drew the foul. You have to get inside, wedge your way in there, make sure you have the first peek or feast, first look at the ball when it comes off that rim. A couple of substitutions for Vanderbilt. Anthony Williams comes onto the floor, as does Vince Ford. 
McClure inside for the dunk, and Kentucky is on the board. Evans made that possible off the bounce in the paint, created problems defensively for the Commodores. McGlore all alone behind the defense. Greater checked by Turner. Into a defensive wizard. Nice matchup, quickness and defense, as you very well said. Outside to Lange, he thought about the three, gives it back to Freighter. He's only hit four of his last 15 shots since coming back with that shoulder injury. Two on the shot clock, strong unloads, too long. A rebound to the Wildcats, Turner pushes. Maybe Vandy played that, time, that shot clock down too, too fine that time. Didn't get a good shot. That foul on Atiba Freighter, his first. Kentucky, Vandy tied it too, but Jamal McGlore made that Vandy bucket. Assist to his total of 55 on the year. Well, Kentucky in the early going, just one of four from the floor. Vanderbilt, one of five. We have 15, 38 to play in the opening half. Inside it goes Evans. Back out to Padgett. Goes inside now to Bradley. Shooting over 60% on the air. Rare miss for him. Kentucky really hasn't gotten good looks at the basket. Credit to Commodores defensively. Howard checks into the basketball game. The freshman from Nashville, Tennessee, drops the bomb on Kentucky. They lead by three. That's his job. He comes off the bench. He fires his team up offensively. He did it that time with a three-pointer. Kentucky misses. That'll be Wildcat basketball. Dave, if you're a Kentucky fan, you're going to have to look for some inside points. Vanderbilt, on the other hand, gets their points off the bench. You hit the floor, you hit it running, you knock a shot down. Where's your confidence go then, buddy? And, of course, Sam Howard, a guy who grew up loving Vanderbilt basketball from right here in the backyard of the Commodores, is living out a dream, and he knocked down the three. You have to be walking a little higher than everybody else. When you hit the wood, your first shot goes down immediately. Confidence builder all the way. Turner with the basketball, dishes it to the corner and Padgett. Back to Turner. Hogan. He answers with a three, stepping in for Hashimu Evans, and good substitution by Tubby Smith. Excellent substitution. Ryan Hogan in for that precise reason to knock down the outside shot which will open up the inside against this matchup zone of the Commodore. Traveling violation against Vanderbilt. Gives it back to Kentucky. We mentioned coming off the bench, you gotta have some power. And Kentucky's done pretty well off the bench this year. Nearly 25 points a game and 13 rebounds from the, from the bench. Kentucky's bench longer, deeper than Vanderbilt's right now. Vanderbilt's shorter and younger. Hogan's a guy, when he's on the perimeter, you must acknowledge him, know where he is, don't give him an open look. Didn't get an open look, Howard got his hand in his face, and rebound comes to the Commodores. Ford with it. Raider splits the defense, the finger roll, no good, rebound off to Turner. Neither team really able to get out and transition to get some cheap baskets. Bradley inside, and Bradikoff wants a traveling violation, won't get it. That foul will go against the Commodores and Sam Howard. You have to like the way the Commodores defensively have reacted to this bigger Kentucky lineup. Anytime the ball comes inside, they smother that ball. That time Bradley thought he had a good look at the basket as he spun. No way. They took the foul. DeAndre Moore checks in for Vanderbilt, as does the lead scorer, Dan Lange for Kentucky. Jules tomorrow comes in with Saul Smith. And some fresh legs on the floor. We're not enough at five. Kentucky very patient trying to pick this matchup zone apart. Having a struggle right now. Smith, that's a three from the corner. 
Smith. A streaky shooter, Saul Smith, when he gets it going, look out. He knows he can shoot it now. Lange misfires. The follow nearly went in. Stripped away by Hogan. violation against Kamar gives it back to Vanderbilt you can see Kentucky wants to get out on the break but Vanderbilt getting back defensively very nicely tonight no, no question credit Jan Van Bretnikoff and his staff in the scouting report and communicating that to his players look don't give Kentucky any cheap ones they want to push it they look for the quick basket Vandy's done an excellent job until now in that area hold on Ryan Hogan That'll be his first. Kentucky with a three-point advantage as Greg LaPointe comes back in, replacing Anthony Williams. A sophomore replacing a sophomore. The point getting the start tonight. Vanderbilt likes to play a lot of people. Then Bretnikoff will rotate people in and out so he finds something he likes being done on the floor. Three. Well, senior from Louisville, Kentucky, hits his 21st three of the season. Nice ball rotation in transition that time from one side to the other, Dave, and they found Padgett before he was covered. He got a clean look at the hoop. You don't want to give an All-American candidate a clean look. Let's go right up that one. Howard. Off the front of the iron. Padgett with a rebound. Kentucky has done a good job rebounding-wise. We talked about that stat before the game. They're an extremely good rebounding team with a wide margin over their opposition. It's one and done so far here this afternoon. Hogan with another three. That is two for him. And Kentucky has rattled off 12 straight points, and they now lead Vanderbilt 14-5 to on the road. Key to the SEC conference schedule with some confidence from the perimeter to do what he was brought to the University of Kentucky to do. Kentucky 4 of 6 behind the arc. He's in Hogan 12 of 33. You did the math at home, you wouldn't come up with 36%. I guarantee you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the glass counted Drago Point. And the uh, Bank of Nashville is now open. A straight ahead bank shot, mind you. Vanderbilt now 2 of 7 from behind the arc. Padgett, his 3 on the way. No good. Rebound strong. Strong for his size. Does an excellent job rebounding for the Commodores. Is quick to the ball. Makes up for a lack of size of being quick to the basketball. Diva Prater about to check back in along with Ashimu Evans. Moore misses. Hogan with it. Sean Prince nearly traveled. Magic sees him on the far side. Prince pulls up. The lanky arms misses. We'll go the other way. We're going to foul against Kentucky. You have to like Prince's quickness, though, getting that shot off the dribble on the baseline. Well, Prince whistled for the foul. That is his first. And there is a timeout on the floor. A mini barrage by the... Meanwhile, above their average, they came in uh, a disappointing 12th in the SEC, knocking down just 29%. But tonight, they have found the range. Good point, Dave. This year has been a struggle from Trayville for the Wildcats. A little unusual. It's hard to knock down threes against the Wildcat defense. Foul against Vanderbilt. And that'll go against the sophomore, Anthony Williams. Anthony Williams reminded me of a football player we saw this afternoon. A little leverage. He's rushing the quarterback. He does the over and under to get that tackle out of his way, but gets caught. They like Anthony Williams here in Nashville. Very athletic, brings some power and some size, along with some pretty good foot speed for the post play. Has improved his perimeter shooter shot from last year. It's become somewhat of a shooter. Long-range bomb from a guy you wouldn't expe expect as Desmond Allison knocks it down, the freshman from Tampa, with his first bucket. Anytime you can soften up that bandy matchup with a perimeter shot, it's a plus for you. 
Desmond just his third three of the year. He's now three of 11 from behind the arc. Stretching each possession. Michael LeBlanc misfires. Rebound to Allison. Turner pushes. Langley about to check back in. When's the last time we saw the Commodores secure a second effort, a second look at the basket? Michael Bradley steps out to about 17 feet and hits his first bucket of the night. Saul Smith likes what he sees. And it's an 11-point lead for Kentucky. Make that a 9-point lead as Michael LeBlanc answers back. A little pressure right now by the Commodores. Allison with the basketball is an all-state performer in football as well as basketball. Bradley fouled on his way to the hoop on, by Greg LaPointe. Sent him to the line for a pair of free throws. Michael Bradley at 6'11", knocked down that little jump shot from the foul line. LaPointe had to honor him, moved out. Bradley, believe it or not, blew right by him. That's some quickness for a guy his size. They can play him in a high situation, and McGlore at a low situation, Dave. Passing-wise, you've got a treetop situation. One big guy to the other. A very effective offensive play for the Kentucky Wildcats. Lange replaces Williams. Padgett checks in, replaces Evans. As Bradley missed the first free throw. See what he has done tonight from the field. One of three. And uh, his average coming in, 68.5% from the floor. Ranks third nationally and second in that Southeastern Conference. And he shot 66% last year, knocking 30 of 45 shots down. You always like your big men and your point guards to be good foul shooters, but because they shoot a lot of foul shots through the course of the year. That big guy, when he gets to the foul line, he's got some confidence. Vanderbilt answers right back, cuts the lead to seven now. Just over eight. Have to find Dan Lange. He could knock him down. Eva Prater trying to hit the point down that low block, but McGlure doing a nice job on him from behind the arc. Michael LeBlanc knocks it down, back-to-back -back three. First Lange, and now Michael LeBlanc. When you play a big back line, there's always a matchup problem at the other end. Everybody talks about the offensive end, but the defensive end can create problems. That time, Padgett not quick enough on a smaller player. Somebody slow down Desmond Allison. He averages 3.3 points a game. He's got six already here in the first half. Allison's playing time has moved up the ladder. There's been more of it since the first of the year in the SEC Conference play. Blank with six feet 11. Wants to keep it outside and keeps it alive. 12 on the shot clock. LeBlanc again that's another three it's a three-point fast in the memorial gymnasium in Asheville as Vanderbilt has cut the Kentucky lead to four Michael LeBlanc is one of those guys that a little bit Vandy in a little bit of a zone two three matchup to Hogan. Foul on the inside. A lot of patience that time, Dave, by the Kentucky Wildcats. Moved the ball from side to side with the pass until they find found Jamal McGlore open inside. That foul on, uh, excuse me, Mike, and Greg LaPointe is second. shooter. 
shooter's touch on that last one, Dave. Now on the inside as Lange gets hammered. Lange's played the majority of this first half on the perimeter has done well that time he goes inside he has been effective very quick with the spin move off the baseline can go with either hand a great asset for a big man inside that's Val Scott Badgett he will take a seat for a moment Alley looking for Lange off the backboard Sean Prince corrals it and gives it to Turner. Prince can knock down the three. Allison, his first miss. He already has two threes. It'll be Vanderbilt basketball. Maybe that shot a little quick. Prior to that trip down the floor, the ball had moved from side to side, Dave, very effectively and found the open man. That time, one, maybe two passes, and up with the shot. the freshman kicks it back to the junior Atiba Prater out of Stone Mountain Georgia and Dunwoody High School Lange Tayshawn Prince guarding him Tayshawn with a seven foot wingspan tough to get a shot over him tough to get a shot over Bradley Lange did but he failed to knock it down and Kentucky pushes it forward definitely was rushed on that shot Bradley running at him bothered him Bradley missing from 17 gets the rebound Tries to follow it up. Van Bredikoff screaming for a foul. Doesn't get one. Bodies everywhere. Jen may have had a legitimate complaint. And he's stretching every possession. Utilizing that shot clock. LeBlanc off the front of the iron. Fell to the ground. Couldn't get the rebound. Allison... Ties it up for Kentucky. A jump ball simultaneously. So they will go by the possession area. You know, the new rule in college basketball is the defensive player ties up the offensive player while the offensive player has the possession clearly. It's something for the coaching staff and the players and how they communicate. Ford, more check in, as does Williams for Vanderbilt. Well, Lange's had somebody in his face every turn out there on the floor. Leading scorer for the Commodores. Very few clean looks. Ten on the shot clock. And that is off the foot of James Strong. Vanderbilt couldn't get a clean look at it, and they turned the basketball over. They tried to find Dan Lange, was not available. Evans doing an excellent job defensively on Dan Lange. Results in a turnover. Defensive credit to the Kentucky Wildcats. Saul Smith running the show. Behind the arc. Got it. Saul Smith knocks down the three. That is his second of the game. He's got six. And, of course, Saul came in here not necessarily known for his offensive prowess, just four and a half points a game. He always gives you effort, coaches son, plays smart, very intelligent player. When he hits that three, it's nothing but an add-on. on the shot clock from the corner counted for Vanderbilt Vince Ford out of Centerville, Illinois the senior he's the Commodores version of Saul Smith effort, hustle, plays smart any offense you get from him is a bonus and a foul against the Wildcats and that'll go against Hashimu Evans. That'll be his first. Saul Smith proves he can shoot the bomb as well. Kentucky by seven. For halftime, 2.58 to go before the intermission. He has to be pleased with a gritty play.
hard nose was to respond to the loss last weekend that the Commodores have come out with this afternoon. There'll be a hold against Kentucky with 240 to go in the half. That foul on Evans, so he picks up two quick ones. Vince Ford that time off the dribble. A complimentary player trying to make something happen and is rewarded for that effort. Desmond Allison, a freshman who's knocked down a couple of threes here in the first half, checks into the game. Really a time second call. Vandy, followed by Saul Smith. Vandy, really excellent job first half with controlling the tempo with their offense. Hogan tips it to himself, corrals the rebound. Kentucky will slow it up. Crater about to check back in as will Sam Howard. For Vanderbilt, Sean Prince. Count to three. Lamara given that shot, dared almost to shoot the ball that time, Dave. Knocked it down. Next time, they'll move out on him. That is only Kamara's second attempt all season, his first three of the year. That's why they dared it. Back to a 10-point lead. Baseline blocked by Allison. Lange blocked. And that'll be Kentucky basketball. What a defensive stand by the Blues. Two ill-advised shots. That time Ford trying to shoot over Desmond Allison. Didn't have the size to do that. Lange not strong enough to run in there against Kamara with excellent leaping ability. He sends it home. Elvis is in the house. It's rejected. Return to sender. Probably two shots Jan Van Bretnikoff would like to have back. Tomorrow, this is what he says, what he loves most about UK basketball. Quote, they always win. <laughs> that's, why he's, that's why he's wearing the Kentucky uniform. Tomorrow, his turnaround off the back of the iron. You see the leaping ability. That was his range. He was guarded closely versus what happened last time when he was significantly out of his range. Sam Howard goes baseline, bounce pass. Struggle underneath, a battle, and Williams loses it. Anthony Williams just not big enough in there among the trees. Prince and Kamara, two tall, long arms, excellent leaping ability. Unique lineup for Tubby Smith with Saul Smith, Ryan Hogan, Desmond Allison, Tayshawn Prince, and Jules Kamara. Young lineup, one shooter, all from the bench. Three freshmen and two sophomores. And seven seconds to go in the opening half. Two on the shot clock, have to get it off in a hurry. There is a violation with 2.7 seconds left. And Mike, I think you see why you don't see a lot of coaches throw three freshmen. And, it's, and two sophomores on the floor. Freshman mistake, you're exactly correct. Unaware of where the shot clock was. He didn't need the two fakes and the stutter step. He needed to turn, jump over, and shoot. Those are things you learn as you get playing time, as you grow. Williams will throw it the length of the, length of the floor. That goes off the basket stanchion and we are at halftime kentucky got off to a slow start at the rivalry is heated is this one going bradley pump fakes moves inside the free throw line looks like he got a little chip on the elbow no call it will be interesting to see if the kentucky wildcats continue their hot perimeter shooting or whether they go inside as we talked about early well Mike I guess we uh, got a quick answer to your question the outside shooting will continue to prevail at least at this point that's six now for Padgett who gets whacked across the jaw by Michael Bradley 
That'll be Bradley's first personal foul, but here's an interesting stat for you. Points in the paint in the first half, tied at two. <laughs> With a big bruising front line like Kentucky has, I would say that Jan Van Bretnikoff's Commodores have more than held their own inside. The point. Stops, fires, misses. Follows his own shot back out to Prater. His field goal attempt off the mark. He continues to struggle. Romeri, remember, he is wearing a brace on his left shoulder, right shoulder. As Hashimu Evans slices in for one of the few points around the basket tonight. Very good point, Dave. One of the few transition points we've seen, let alone around the basket. And that is Hashimu's first basket of the night. He only has two points, and it's a 15-point lead, the largest of the game for Kentucky. Vanderbilt needs the ball in this man's hands where he gets a good, clean look. Kentucky has kept him from that. Prater kicks it out to Lange. Five on the shot clock. Pulls up inside the free throw line. A little bit short. You know in Dan Lange's heart, this is one game that he really wants to play well. Being a Kentucky guy, when he goes back to Lexington in this game here, probably one of the top games each year on his schedule. Lange is two of eight from the floor in the first half. It'll be a foul against Kentucky underneath. Bradley picks up a foul. That's his second. Evans in line to in line, coast to coast. No one picks him up. He's trying to figure out if someone's going to stop him. He puts his head down and goes all the way when they don't. You see why Coach Smith has no problem putting him at the two guard. He handled it pretty well, didn't he? Say so. What about 90 feet? Strong kicks it out to Lange. Still misfiring. Two of ten now in the basketball game. Can't lose his confidence now. Shooters always continue to shoot. Push inside by the point. Gets away with it. The three. That's off the mark. The rebound to McGlure. One and done. Kentucky's strength is rebounding, or one of them is rebounding. Last year in Lexington, Kentucky out-rebounded Vanderbilt by 39. No bucket, foul on the floor. Dave, when you have a good rebounding team, and defensively you're doing a good job, the other team's missing. Those rebounds mount up. There's what Vanderbilt has done rebounding-wise. In the 10 wins, they have uh, been dominant on the glass and, and combined their losses. It has been ugly. Got to get to the ball quickly. When your team's missing, you've got to get that inside position. Anticipate or play for a miss. Turner from outside. Knocks it down. He has improved his shot over the years. This year, he's shooting 45%. And he gives Kentucky the 17-point advantage. Vanderbilt wisely gave him the shot to make sure he can hit it before they build out defensively on him. They'll do that now. He won't get another open look for a while. Seven straight for the Wildcats out of the locker room. Greater. Nice touch. He gets on the board. How about that ball movement? Penetration, pump fake. Defenders leave their feet, find the open man. Excellent execution. Somebody missed a defensive assignment as Jan Van Redekoff is off the floor wondering where his pressure was. Now underneath is given right back to the Commodores. The distance they're playing off Turner. A lot of daylight right there. I don't think you'll see that next couple of times. He drills one, you move out. to point behind the arc. Got it. The big guys for Vandy really shoot that three well, don't they? Nice touch by Greg LaPointe, who had a sensational freshman season a year ago, but Kentucky may have answered back. We'll see if they'll count the bucket. No bucket. The foul underneath against Vanderbilt and Anthony Williams. But wave off the bucket. That may be a break for Vanderbilt in the long run. 
Oh, Vanderbilt took a while to get on track during the second half. They scored five straight. The point from behind the arc. Long ago that uh, Elvis and Bo Diddley were our fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tubby's got some pretty big fans in the Judds, and really he's got a lot of fans all over the place. When you look at what he has done at Kentucky, nobody has done it better. In the first 55 games as the head coach of the Wildcats, then Tubby Smith. And there have been some great ones. Tubby, no doubt, has proven he was the right man, the right time, in the right situation. McGlure, inside. There, we got some. We're getting, that's four points in the paint in the second half. That doesn't make Jan Van Bretnikoff very happy. Makes us sound like we know what we're talking about, but Jan... Not happy with that inside easy basket. The point. Now on the floor. The floor basically just dominating with his strength on the low post. He gets the easy bucket. When you get that big front line, people start taking up space, camp out. Define what is theirs and what is the other team. McGlore simply did that. Lange about to check back in for Vanderbilt. Trail by 14. Lee. Biggest of the night has been 17. Commodores desperately need Lange in this ballgame offensively. The point follows his shot again. Fundamentals. Prater. Give the credit to Greg LaPointe. No, that's twice now. First time did not result in a basket. That time it did. And you're 100% correct. Fundamental basketball. Tayshawn Prince. He steps behind the arc and knocks it down. When he gets set, Dave, gets that little push shot going. He can run the table on you. got off quickly when he entered the game in the first half. Crater, his three. That's good. It's a three-point fest in Memorial Gymnasium. Andy has scored very little inside. They certainly take advantage of the hot hand from the perimeter. Prince again. Evans with a rebound. And Evans will pull it back out with 30 on the shot clock. That's up play, reset. But he's in a hurry. Foul on the inside. A couple big bodies in there, Dave. LaPointe, McGlore, jostling for position. That foul on the point. That is his third. All SEC freshman team last year. Starts a lot. Plays Rucho minutes. For Jay and Ben Bretnikov. Kentucky has made 10 threes tonight. Vandy has made eight. Andy back in that 2-3 matchup now. Let's see what Kentucky does with this. They looked at the man-to-man -man early here in the second half. There's a foul on Howard. He ran right through Padgett. Hollywood on that one. Scott Padgett and Floppy. Sam Howard simply leaned against him and maybe bumped him. Not enough to uh, warrant the nice and effective flop by Scott Padgett. That's a second foul on Howard. Kentucky has shown some excellent ball movement here today. Freed themselves up for some easy shots. Right on through Q. Mike Brad Michael Bradley knocks it home. Padgett with the assist. The point down the low block. Kicks it out. Prater pump fakes. Howard, his three. Howard 
before the game today. Didn't miss from about 19 feet to 25 feet. He must have made 18, 19 in a row. Started quickly in the first half. Hasn't gotten it going yet here in the second. Vanderbilt, if they miss, they very seldom get second efforts. Only LaPointe has found his way to a second shot. Saul Smith. Knocks down the three from the corner. And it's back to a 16-point lead. When the coach's son gets off early, as he did in the first half, he can run the table. Streaky shooter. Paul Smith with it, pushes ahead. Allison, what a great athlete, slices his way through and travels with it. Over the years, plenty of fans followed these Commodores from the country and western music. Marshall Crenshaw, of course, uh, one of the biggest and most vocal Vanderbilt fans, as is Emmy Lou Harris. Boots Randolph. You don't remember Boots? Yeah, I do. Okay. My brother, Rob, graduate of Vanderbilt. Big fan. <laughs> Score the three for Vanderbilt, and that'll make Rob happy. Michael LeBlanc got a Sugarland, Texas. Connects. He's been hot from Trayville. Knocked down two of them in the first half. 48-35. It's a 13-point lead. Vanderbilt 9 of 22 from behind the arc. Oh, and the alley-oop. Saul Smith to Michael Bradley. It's only two, but it was nice. Too tall inside for the Commodores at that particular position. Excellent hands by Bradley. Really can catch the ball in a crowd. Baseline. James Strong goes strong. You had to wonder how long it would be until the Commodores tried to beat Kentucky off the dribble. Kentucky in a man to man, mostly this ball game. Kentucky's bench has been dominant tonight, to say the least. It's W. Smith has played a lot of them. Michael Bradley with the left hand doesn't go. Looks like the foul will be against Lange on the push. Bradley very active inside, going from high to low that time, Dave. He worked both block to block, high to low. And again, the point I tried to make was simply excellent hands. You can bump him and you can hit him. That Kentucky bench, though, has been the one point that probably will sit with Jan Van Brentnikoff. 27 points off that bench. Saul Smith has contributed to six of those points, in addition to a couple fine assists. Coming into the game, Kentucky's bench has been solid, as has Vanderbilt's, but tonight it's all Kentucky. Kentucky's bench had basically been averaging 25 points, 13 rebounds. Tonight they have even surpassed that. Michael Bradley, Bradley knocks down the free throws. 52-37 is our total. 10-12 to go in the second half. Bradley seems to have gained a lot of confidence from last year when he played part-time to this year when he's getting lots of minutes. Now underneath. That'll go against Saul Smith. That'll be his first. And Vanderbilt will take it out underneath the basket. Oh, we got a second here. I'd like to wish Hazel Jackson of Bedford, Kentucky, a very happy birthday as she turns 100 years old. Big Kentucky fan. Congratulations to her. Moore couldn't get the ball inbounded, and Vanderbilt has to take a 20-second timeout. But right now, we're seeing the balance and the depth of this Kentucky team that has really given them some big wins. But as you mentioned in the open, they really haven't been stable. I mean, they haven't, they, they've looked great at moments. They've looked bad at moments. Example, Wednesday night, South Carolina, or Tuesday night, South Carolina, they dominate for 20 minutes and uh, go into the locker room feeling pretty good about themselves, and they come out, and the next thing you know, they got a ball game on their hands, and that did not sit well with Tubby Smith, and he let his players know about it this week. Some of the people around the program simply put it this way. Coach Tubby Smith had his game face on the rest of this week <laughs> instead of just this morning. That tells you a little yeah. something. You've been around coaches enough. Yeah. <laughs> Lange tried to free up off the inbounds pass. Nice D by Padgett. A little pick and roll action, maybe a throwback to Lange, hoping they can find him open after he sets the pick. Lange tried to 
create his own shot. A little too strong. He's been around that hoop. He's had three or four. Do a victory lap and come out. Tayshawn wide open. Lines up to three. Tayshawn Prince, the freshman out of Compton, California, knocks down the three, and he now has six. And it's a 55-37 advantage for the Wildcats. You can almost book it when he gets set, gets that little pump. Plenty of time. Not much leap on that shot, but it's deadly. You don't need leap when you got a seven-foot wingspan. <laughs> but Prince, along with DeAndre Moore, the man running the point for Vanderbilt right now, both from Compton, California, different high schools who play basketball every summer and winter and uh, uh, are, are pretty good uh, rivals, if you will, going back to their early childhood. Come from the West Coast to the East Coast to attend school and then have to face each other. Huh? That's something that didn't happen 15 years ago. Kids stayed on the East Coast and the West Coast, but now a lot of crossover between ball players both ways. Dan Lange heads to the Vanderbilt bench, and he had scored double figures in 13 straight games until a four-point effort against Florida on Wednesday night. Mr. Consistent, Greg LaPointe. LaPointe knocks it down. LaPointe with eight points. Took a young team, good size, shot blocking, excellent right now on the floor with McGlore Kamara. Four on the shot clock. Turner has to take it in himself. Prater gets the rebound. Gets a little elbow right in the spinal cord. Turner might have ran too many seconds off that shot clock that time. Seemed to be rushed as he got to the paint. Prater, out to the wing. Fifteen on the shot clock. James Strong loses it. Hogan with it. Hogan known for that three-point shooting, shooting period. That time shows you quick hands defensively. McGlure on the point, loses it, still in the paint, comes away to the Commodores. Strong loses it, Kamara had a hand on it. Nice effort defensively that time by the Commodores. On the floor, quickly, in transition. Didn't get a shot, but got it down there, looking all the time. Vanderbilt having to be patient. The point spots up off the back of the iron. Kamara goes up over Williams, but that'll be Kentucky basketball. 7.27 to play. 55-39. What? Ball player here to pull on his alma mater. Speaking of football, would love to wish uh, Tim Couch, who has uh, delighted us all, whether you're a Kentucky fan or not. Scott Padgett knocks down the three. Wish uh, Mr. Couch good luck in his endeavors in the NFL as he leaves after his junior season, but uh, delighted us all that followed SEC and college football. A traveling violation against Vanderbilt turns it over, but Scott Padgett knocks down the three. The month of January has been good to Scott Padgett. December was a struggle with his jump shot. A lot written about that. January has been smooth sailing for Scott, the senior from Louisville, Kentucky. Padgett with the rebound. Turner. Hogan. Long. Padgett had it. Michael LeBlanc battles, and it will be Kentucky basketball again with a fresh 35. This is a 19-point game. Anthony Williams takes a seat. Lange comes in. This hustle, this determination is what Jan Van Bretnikoff wants to see from those young Commodores. There's no quit in these guys. Pretty team. They're going to get better as the season goes along. Wayne Turner leading the charges. Padgett, Hogan. Evans. How about that ball movement? Very patient. Kamara at the free throw line. Six on the shot clock. Turner pulls up off balance. Maybe the shot was blocked by Ford. 
And it'll be Vanderbilt basketball. Nice defensive stand by the Commodores. No question. Right in there all the way with Kentucky toe-to-toe, -to -toe, giving up nothing, forcing a bad shot late into the shot clock. Exactly what the coaching staff, I would imagine, wanted. Prater. Misfires Paget the rebound. Commodore's lacking a low post inside game this afternoon. Quickly let it go from the perimeter. Bounce pass to Kamara. Can't hold on to it. Vanderbilt basketball. We saw Paget a moment ago. Kind of uh, do a double step. He's only five points away from reaching the thousand point club in Kentucky basketball history. There are our free throws. Vanderbilt has not been to the line tonight. No inside game there. Nothing inside to get you to the foul line. Commodores might want to go back and try a little dribble penetration, see what that creates. More. Inside 10. Lange misfires. Randy just not getting good looks at it. The alley-oop. Turner looking for Kamara. Misfires. 5.03 to play in the ball game, and that is now nine turnovers for Kentucky. Vandy has eight. You mentioned not getting the good looks. You are 100% correct. It seems like Dan Lange, for example, all his looks come at the end of the shot clock when he's forced to lean or be off balance and, and not be under control to get a good shot. It's very unfortunate for Dan Lange. Fourth. He fires from behind the arc. He knocks it down. That's a three for the Commodores, and it's a 16-point basketball game. That's five now for Vince. They're not going to go away. They're going to hang in there. They're young. They're resilient. They've got some talent. Logan Pump fakes Lange. Circus shot. Dipsy dude double clutch off the glass. Without a shot blocker back there, which Vanderbilt does not have, the smaller Hogan off the dribble penetration gets to the glass. Nice night for Ryan with eight points. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just not in sync offensively. Well put. We saw the hustle there. We saw the determination. Being out of sync is the proper way to put it. Kentucky, on the other hand, they're on cruise control. But Dave, this is a significantly tougher test for Jan Van Brett to cost Commodores. The main thing you look for as a coach, you want to see how your team responds as the game goes on. If you stick to the game plan, if you play hard, you hustle. Scott Padgett knocks down the three. He only needs two points to reach 1,000. 998 for Mr. Padgett. He has 12 for the game. And his confidence in January has to be soaring from Trayville. Got off to a slow start with one of 19, missing 18 straight at one point. Double team on four. Timeout taken, 20 by the Commodores and Coach Van Bredikoff. But uh, here's a guy that struggled at Scott Padgett from behind the arc. It became national news simply because of the games they played were always on television. Well, he has answered right back and has been on fire from behind the arc. He has really done a job here tonight. Since he missed those 18 straight, he's gone 19 of 42. Well, be sure and join us this Saturday for SEC TV Weekly. This week, we'll travel to Athens to check in with the Ron, we'll check in with Ron Jersa and the basketball Bulldogs, as well as Andy Landers' undefeated Lady Bulldog team. SEC TV Weekly, Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern, right here on your regional home of Fox Sports Net. Your point was well taken about Scott Padgett and three-point shot today. That's what you want from a senior with experience coming off a national championship year. As a coach, you would hope that Scott Padgett or someone like him would respond that way. Howard shows he's got the touch behind the arc, his second tonight. And the freshman from right here in Nashville. 
You have to like the young players that Jan Van Kretnikoff has. Loose basketball. How about that hustle? So against the Wildcats, that'll go against Wayne Turner. Lange caught Turner inside in the paint. Big on small. First time we've seen that happen to the benefit of the Vanderbilt Commodores. Bodies everywhere continue to hustle the Commodores no matter what the score is. Good sign for a young team. Sam Howard with consecutive three-pointers. He now has nine. Well, when you knock those three down, it adds up quickly. It can bring you back. Might not this afternoon for Vanderbilt, but someday Sam Howard may bring him back in a tight game with that three-point shot. Hogan goes to the rack hard, but pays the price. The penetration, Hogan all the way, can't quite get it over the taller LaPointe. Sometimes uh, guys 6'2", six, 6'3", six, shouldn't play inside. He's rewarded with a trip to the foul line for determination. Hogan knocks down the free throw. One of the surprises tonight, Hashimu Evans, who's led this team in scoring 12.8 points a game only has two tonight. He also has five rebounds, but uh, shows you the kind of balance that Tubby Smith's getting from his lineup. Coach Smith has played a lot of people. Evans has found himself on the bench. Some of the younger forwards and guards, Hogan, Kamara, Prince, gotten a lot of time and good quality time. Feeling it with a couple of threes in a row here. Turkey has stayed with that man-to-man -man almost the entire ball game. They've done a good job pressuring that ball. Very little penetration off the dribble by the Commodores. Replace strong. Replaces LeBlanc as Howard goes to the free throw line. They put this game on the win column side. Kentucky, two games on the road, two victories. We all know how tough it is to win in the FCC on the road. They have to feel like, uh, and this has been always a tough place to play. Last couple of years, South Carolina has been an extremely tough place for Kentucky to play. They have to feel pretty good going home next week. How about that? Prince and Moore going at it. As we mentioned earlier, both out of Compton, California. Prince actually went to Comp uh, Dominguez High School in Compton, out California, while DeAndre Moore went to Compton High School, but actually makes his home in Norwalk, off in California, which is just down the road. The size matchup is not exactly what you would think. <laughs> uh, Moore, six, six eight versus five nine. Moore, a true point guard. Prince, a small forward wannabe point guard. Don't you love it when big guys can handle? I do. I, it's amazing to me how these bigger people have developed these skills of much shorter people. Well, Tayshawn has put on 37 pounds since uh, he left high school. Get up to his 210-pound frame. Of course, was everybody's All-American coming out of high school. Was just uh, one of the premier players in the entire country. And showed his skill by getting the nod here at Kentucky. On the inside against Williams. As Turner goes sprawling on the floor. Anthony Williams really has had a tough time this afternoon with the bigger back line of the Kentucky Wildcats. Hasn't gotten any opportunities at the low post. Rebounding wise, he's found himself screened out many times or behind a Kentucky defender. Steps to the free throw line, an area that he has improved this year. 
a career 59% foul shooter, but shooting 68% this year from the line. You want to see the point guard's foul shooting move up, particularly as you move down the schedule and get into those pivotal games come tournament time. Point guards have a way to find themselves at the foul line late in the ball game, don't they? It is amazing. J.P. Levin checks in now for Wayne Turner. Turner gets a nice hand from the hometown crowd. Good night for the Kentucky starters, or really a good night for the, uh, you might want to call them the Big Ten. W. Smith rotates his 10 players in and out. And we saw a lineup tonight that featured three freshmen and two sophomores. Only way to describe that bench would be long and deep. Right now, bench is hitting on all cylinders for Coach W. Smith. Oh, gets up high. So does Williams, however. Hey, well, Blevins will get in the scorebook anyway. Kentucky's front line a little shorter right now, a little more slender. Those big bodies are out. Anthony Williams now able to be a little more active. I guess he can see through the tall timber now, huh? Instead of trying to look around. Eh? Here is Dan Lange, who's had a uh, tough, tough night, to say the least, with just five points. He just could not get on track. And this will mark the second consecutive game that he has uh, been unable to reach double figures. Against Florida, it took him to late in the basketball game to really uh, find his mark, but just wasn't his night. I think Kentucky really keyed on trying to stop him, and it, and it worked. No question. And then when the, the Commodores got very little offense from the inside, put more pressure out, Dave, on him. There's a three by Vanderbilt. As Carl, as, uh, Strong knocks it down, and it's a 14-point uh, game with 53.6 seconds remaining. And Van Bretnikoff still teaching, still coaching. Very good sign. His young team still learning. They're going to grow and get better. Only one senior on Vandy's club. Being, particularly that three-pointer. He's still going to climb that ladder, that list. He will, be, will become the 45th Wildcat to score 1,000 points. I know you're 21st on the Kentucky scoring list. I'm somewhere there. I think I might have been a little uh, higher back before uh, all this young new talent yeah. that can shoot so well moved in. Well, you had a guy that you kind of fed. It's amazing that you're 21 on the list, knowing that you had to give it up to Dan Itzel for well, three listen, years. Uh, that is amazing, but he found a uh, way to make a significant amount of those <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He was easy to feed. He was such a good shooter. Well, he leads everybody in Kentucky scoring. Tomorrow, it's to the free throw line. Scott Padgett, by the way, finishes the night four or five from the floor. All three pointers, 12 points, seven boards, three assists. There is Mr. Padgett, the senior out of Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky getting good senior leadership, would you not say? I would uh, say so. They've got three guys that uh, know what they're doing in Turner, Evans, and Padgett. LeBlanc, guarded by Allison. This handles it. Levins gets on the floor. And Moore comes away with it. A little too much dribble. Move that ball quickly. Not much time left in this ball game. Off the mark, rebound to Camaro. Up next for Kentucky. Date with Tennessee at home. Well, Vanderbilt stays here in place. They get a chance to get their ship righted at home, which is always a good place to clean up some loose ends and get your team back on track. 16.4 seconds left. And the point will foul out with eight points tonight. And Lange steps back on the floor to replace the point. He got the start tonight as Coach Van Bredekoff decided that he wanted to match up better. He had used a smaller lineup. 
lately and kind of liked what it brought to the floor, but uh, decided to match up better with Kentucky tonight. But it actually, that big lineup from Kentucky was incredible from the outside. It wasn't about power and size, was it? No. It really got down to that three-point shot, that jump shot. Oh, nice pass. Nice work. The recipient of the work, Williams. Sam Howard, the freshman from Nashville. Excellent play. And that will do it. As Kentucky took a 10-point advantage and scored the first seven points of the second half to build their lead to 17 and put it on cruise control from that point on.